Hello dear students, this is the lecture number 4 of bridge course. Here uh, we will solve some few simple problems. Okay, These problems you will not get it in any textbook. Okay, I have framed a few easy questions for you for the understanding and we are slowly trying to learn how to solve problems in physics. Okay, The first question, a particle starts from rest and moves with a constant acceleration. See what you have to observe, a particle starts from rest. Okay. Initial velocity is 0. Okay. Then, and moves with a constant acceleration of 3 meter per second square. Acceleration is 3 meter per second square. Okay. For 5 seconds, t is equal to 5 seconds. Okay. What will be its velocity at t is equal to 5 seconds? Okay. What will be its velocity at t is equal to 5 seconds? Means final velocity we have to find out. Okay. Initial velocity is given, correct now. Acceleration is given, time is given. Remember your equations of motion, v is equal to u plus at, x is equal to ut plus half at square, v square is equal to u square plus 2ax. Since time is given to find t, this is the most suitable equation, v is equal to u plus a into t. Or final velocity, v is equal to u is 0 plus acceleration is 3 meter per second square into time is 5 seconds so velocity is 15 meter per second velocity is velocity final velocity is 15 meter per second very simple right first you observe a particle start from rest means there only you have to observe initial velocity is 0 acceleration is given time is given straight away you can solve this simple question right hope you can understand next question okay there is an xt graph. xt graph for a particle is shown. Okay. Calculate its velocity. What is the velocity? We know slope of xt graph gives velocity. Correct na? To find velocity, what we have to do? Velocity equal to slope. Yeah. So what is slope? Slope equal to y distance divided by x distance. What is y distance? Y distance is 4 x distance is 2 what happens slope equal to 4 by 2 is equal to 2 meter per second velocity is therefore 2 meter per second let us cross check okay if, see in 2 seconds it is traveling 4 meter correct now so in 1 second 2 meter 2 seconds 4 meter so velocity should be 2 meter per 1 second so this answer is correct so this is also a Simple question. Hope you can understand. Okay. Do not laugh at me. Why sir is giving very simple, simple questions. You will come to know when uh, you, you come to uh, class 11 and class 12. Uh, why problem solving is very, very important. You will come to know later. So initially we are starting with very, very simple questions. Third one. A VT graph of a particle is shown. Okay. Calculate the distance traveled in 10 seconds. Calculate the distance traveled in 10 seconds. We know that area area under vt curve is displacement area is equal to distance traveled what is area area is equal to length okay length into breadth length into breadth so this is this is 0 meter per second 5 meter per second this is 0 this is 10 so what happens 5 into 10 is equal to 50 meter 50 meter or what you can do actually if you have to understand it better 5 okay meter per second okay 5 meter per second into 10 seconds 10 seconds so what happens second and second gets cancelled 10 into 5 50 meter so concept here we have, we have used is area under vt curve is displacement or you can simply calculate this place here you can simply find out displacement equal to velocity into time what is velocity velocity is 5 what is time 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 is 10 seconds so displacement is equal to 5 into 10 so 50 meters okay this is also very very simple question next okay a bus okay a bus was moving with a constant velocity of 10 meter per second a bus was moving with a constant velocity of 10 meter per second okay then what happens the driver applies brakes okay 
the driver applies brakes such that the bus stops in 5 seconds. Okay. So initially the bus was moving with a velocity of 10 meter per second. Initially bus was moving with a velocity of 10 meter per second. Okay. Then the driver applies brakes such that the bus stops in 5 seconds. Okay. Means final velocity is 0. Why? The bus stops. Okay. In time 5 seconds t is equal to 5 seconds. Then what is asked? What is the acceleration of the bus? Okay. U is given, V is given, T is given. We have to find out acceleration. What is the acceleration of the bus? So what to do? V is equal to U plus A into T. This implies final velocity is 0 equal to initial velocity is 10, 10 plus A acceleration is unknown. We have to find out into time is 5 seconds. So this, this implies this implies 5 5a is equal to minus 10. This 10 goes to LHS, it becomes minus, or a is equal to minus 10 by 5 is equal to minus 2 meter per second square. Acceleration is minus 2 meter per second square. Why minus has come? Because velocity is decreasing. We know that when the velocity is increases, acceleration is positive. When the velocity decreases, acceleration is negative. What is acceleration? Minus 2 meter per second per second means for every second the, ve the velocity is decreasing by a factor of 2. Okay, initially t is equal to 0, velocity was 10, t is equal to 1, velocity is 8, t is equal to 2, velocity is 6, t is equal to 3, velocity is 4, t is equal to 4, velocity is 2, t is equal to 5, velocity is 0, bus stops. Okay, I hope you can understand the logic behind it. Okay. Next, <clears throat> a car starts from rest, okay, a car starts from rest, u is equal to 0, yeah, simple, and moves with a constant acceleration of 10 meter per second square, okay, acceleration is 10 meter per second square. What is the distance traveled by the car in 5 seconds, time is 5 seconds, what is the distance traveled by the car in 5 seconds? So x we have to find out, time is given, so therefore the most suitable equation is x is equal to ut plus half a t square, u is 0, correct now, so therefore x is equal to 0 plus half into, what is acceleration, acceleration is 10 into t square, t square is 5 square, correct now, so that is equal to, that is equal to 10 by 2 is 5, into 5 square is 25. What is 25 into 5? 25 into 5 is 125 meter. So here what we have done? We have used the equation x is equal to ut plus half a t square. So this is a small video in which we have uh, solved very simple five problems. Okay, try to understand. Tomorrow I am coming up with a little difficult problems. And also in the later uh, uh, se uh, lecture series, we are going to uh, discuss required mathematics for physics. We are going to uh, learn vectors, we are going to learn trigonometry, we are going to learn differentiation and so on. Thank you very much.